Well, hello, we think we are live. We think we are live. Hello, everybody. And um, hello, it's great. This is so exciting that we are able to join you all in your homes, wherever you are. My name's Mike and I am from Inspireworks. Now, we advertised this lots, lots over this last weekend and we said it's a live drumming workshop. Now, a drumming workshop is not just us playing, a drumming workshop is you guys all taking part as well. So, I have a drum with me, and if you have a drum or anything that you could play, even if it's a saucepan or a piece of Tupperware, even if you haven't got anything, you can clap along. I think what would be great to do first is to see if we can do what's called a rumble. Now, a rumble is where you can play whatever you like. It's great. But you can play whatever you like for as long as you like until I say stop. Now, this might sound strange, but the first thing we are going to learn to do today before we learn how to play together, we're going to learn how to stop together. Because you've got to make sure, well, I've got to make sure you know exactly when to stop. So basically, if you hear me count backwards, going four, three, two, one, stop. By the time I've got to the word stop, you have to have stopped playing. Does that make sense? So shall we give it a rumble? Shall we have a go? Let's see what it sounds like. Get your instrument ready. Here we go. One, two, three, rumble! <laughs> Wow, that was really fun. Hey, tell you what, if you have got a drum, if you have got something that you're playing, can you see if you can play that same instrument but in a different way to produce a different sound? That'd be great. And if you're using some household objects, if you hit it in one way, if you had it with a stick or perhaps a, a wooden spoon or something, see if you can use a different way to get a different sound. Let's do another rumble. Are you ready? Here we go. Four, three, two, let's go and rumble! Wow, absolutely great. Hey, I tell you what, Inspireworks has never been just a one-man band. It's never been just one person. We've always had a great team of people with us here in Inspireworks. And I'm going to put this on gallery view, because what we're trying to do today, we are, we are on Zoom as our facilitators, but we are streaming this live on YouTube. So um, it's not just me. Um, who else we've got here? We have, let's start over there. Who's that? Hello, this is Kostas from Inspireworks. Hello, everyone. Hope you are really great and looking forward for our workshop. Hello, great. And who's next? Who have we got next? Hello, I'm Fred, and I'm joining you from my uh, lounge in London and uh, looking forward to joining you all today. Great. Who's next? My name is Raul. How are you doing? Are you safe? And, uh, well, we are going to have a lot of fun and uh, just wait for it. Great. And who have we got? Who's our last team member today? Hi, I'm Tim. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Great. So you can tell we are all obeying government guidance. We are all in our homes broadcasting this. Now, the only thing is I do have projected behind me a lovely image here. And I wonder, you know, I am at home, but I've just got this nice image projected behind me. Can you guess where this is? I'm going to see if I can move out a little bit of the way, just either side, so you can see this. Can you guess where this might be? Because because we're live on YouTube, we can actually have a little bit of interaction. There are comments that you can make a comment. Now, if you are um, with a grown-up, if you're a child, could you please check that your grown-ups are happy for you to write a comment first? And if they are, could you write a comment of where you think this could be? because today we are going to focus on music that comes in this place. And to give you a little tip of where you think this could be, we each have an instrument that comes from this particular place. So Costas, can you show us what is your instrument? What have you got, just to give us an idea? I've got a small drum that comes from this place, and I'm going to show you how I play it. Right, and let's see who's next. So, um, Fred, what have you got? I've got a really big, low drum from this place, and it sounds like this. Great, okay. And, Raoul, what have you got? A very interesting look at it, look at it. And the sound is... And we've got that... 
<laughs> Great. Okay, and Tim, what have you got? Something else as well? So I've got something to shake. Maybe you've got shakers at home. I've got two kinds of shaker. I've got this one, and I've got this one, which is the homemade one. Maybe you're playing one like this. There you go. Fantastic. Now, I tell you what, I'm going to read through some of these comments. Now, what I should have said that if you get the answer right, your grown ups are going to buy you a holiday to this place. Okay. <laughs> so you now might regret what you said. Can I just say the first person who responded is my wife, who said, Is it Bracknell? <laughs> it's very much. Oh, we got someone says, Is it Miami? Someone says, Is it Slough? Well, I, yeah, no, I doubt. I doubt it's Slough. I know no one's been driving around, but I doubt Slough looks quite like that. Oh, someone says Cuba, um, Bognor Regis. Yeah, I think maybe that is Bognor Regis. <laughs> now, where is it? In fact, I tell you what. Just to make sure we all pronounce this correctly, we have someone here who speaks the language that they speak fluently. Raúl, where is this? Rio de Janeiro. Wow. Did Raúl? Can you say that again? Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Can we all say that together? Raul, can you say it once then and we all say it back? Rio de Janeiro. Rio, Rio de, de Janeiro. Janeiro. Wow. Yeah. We are Good. going to Rio today. This is a photograph I took in Rio when I was very fortunate to be there a few years ago. This is actually Copacabana Beach. I am not going to sing that Copacabana song that everyone knows because we're going to get done by YouTube for copyright if I do end up singing it. But this is Copacabana Beach where they play. What style of music do they play there? They play lots of samba music. So today we are going to learn how to play samba. We're going to have great fun. We have had lots of people already, lots of drummers, lots of music teachers we know have asked me over the weekend. They said, how are you going to deal with the latency thing? When they saw we said there's going to be five of us, they said, how are you going to deal with it where you're all playing together, but obviously with the internet, there's this delay. Well, we had a really good practice. In fact, after this video is finished, we're going to put as a little outtakes video, us last week just trying to clap in time together. Didn't work very well, to be fair. So you can see that. So we managed to get lots of little tricks of things that we've managed to find we can do in Zoom to help us out a little bit. But also um, what we're going to do is we're going to take turns to teach a little bit. So first of all, Fred, we're going to go straight over to you. I'm going to spotlight you, Fred, so we can see you bigger. Um, what are we going to learn to play on your drum? Hello, everyone. So this drum here, this is called a surdo, and it is a it's the heartbeat of our samba music. And for our surdo rhythm, we're going to go like this. We're going to go un, dos, tres, the samba. Un, dos, tres, the samba. Okay? So let's say that all together. Here we go. Un, un dos, dos, tres, the samba. The samba. Un, un, dos, do. tres, the samba. Lovely. And now let's play it on our bellies. Can everyone play your bellies? Ready? Let's play that rhythm. So it will look like this. Let, let me show you first. It will go un, Dos, tres, the samba. Ready? Here we go. Un, dos, tres, the samba. Un, dos, tres, the samba. Lovely. Now you can play it on whatever you're playing at home. And I'm going to play it on my surdo. Ready? Here we go. Un, dos, tres, the samba. Un, dos, tres, the samba. Lovely. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much, Fred. That's great. Um, so that's the, the deepest sounds we've got. OK, so we're going to um, move on to Costas. And Costas, you've got sort of at the other end of the samba band where we've gone from the very big drum. So now we've got possibly to the smallest. To drum. a very small one, a very small drum from Brazil, which is called tambourine. And the words I would like you to use for our rhythm uh, goes like this everybody let's go to Rio 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 now we are gonna clap our rhythms our rhythm I'm gonna count up to four one two three four and every Everybody, let's go to Rio. Everybody, let's go to Rio. Everybody, let's go to Rio. Everybody, let's go 
to real and stop. Very good. Now I'm going to show you the basic grip, how we hold this instrument. We are going to have a closed fist and we're going to place our four fingers inside the cell and our thumb is going to go on top of the head of the drum. So four fingers inside, thumb outside. And we are going to play this pattern together, everybody. Let's go to Rio on one, two, three, four. Everybody, let's go to Rio. 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 And stop. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Costas. That's great. So I'm just going to um, take you off the spotlight there. OK, so we're going to have one last instrument we're going to look at today, and that's what um, Tim has got. So, Tim, tell us what you're going to, what are you going to show us today? OK, this instrument is called a Ganza. And uh, whatever instrument you have, whichever one it is, it works the same way. You shake it and it makes a noise. So you shake it forwards it makes one noise you shake it backwards it makes some other noise so that means you go over to you mike brilliant thank you so much tims yeah so um playing a, a ganza is is um is great good right so um oh by the way ganza um is um is called a ganza because um that's the, the it's onomatopoeic here we are onomatopoeia um if you are maybe eight or nine years old in school i think it's often in year four in english schools they learn that word onomatopoeia hey how good is this lesson we are doing a bit of geography um we've got samba um coming from rio de janeiro we've had a bit of a foreign language um by saying um deutsch tres we've now had some English was on. Hey, tell you what, guys, kids, you have learned everything in this one music lesson. I hope your homeschooling parents are ticking this all off, saying all the different things you're learning together. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to have a good go at trying to put this all together. So um, because what we found with some of the lag that we've had before, the easiest thing is if you um, listen to me playing um, this, the parts all together. So remember, there was Fred's part, which was um, um, deutsch, tres the samba so i'm going to put that in as well and then i've got tim's part i've got these little shaky eggs i love shaky eggs they're great don't try it with a real egg never works and um so i'm going to be doing that and shaking that to ganza ganza like tim was saying because i think i'm pretty good at multitasking i'm going to say the rhythm that costas taught us which was everybody let's go to rio so are you ready with your part you can choose whichever one of those three you want to play and let's put it all together are you ready here we go one two three here we go and everybody let's go to rio 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 four three two one and stop wow well done everyone this is amazing great to have us all playing at all different parts of the country even parts of the world joining together now we've got these different things going on Raul, though, um, oh, has just disappeared. His video disappeared. Maybe we'll come back. Oh, there he is. He's back. He's back. Good. Um, Raul, yeah. you have an instrument that's really clever because it can actually be those three different things. It can be the pseudo, it can be the tambourine, it can be the ganza all together. Can you mm. show us this instrument, this special samba instrument? Yes. There you are. Panderu. Can we say it? Panderu. Very good. Now you mentioned the um, pseudo. Now the pseudo, there's two sounds, the closed sound, I'll show you. The closed sound and the open sound. You can see my thumb. Uh, this thumb goes down for the closed sound and the open sound. You can do it also with the finger inside. 
Mm. Now, we don't use just the thumb. Uh, we use the thumb, the tips of the fingers, the heels, and the tips. So you go one, two, three, four. And then you take the thumb. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So that is the thumb. This would be the, the, the tambourine. And this is the, the ganza. So you go. Wow, thank you so much, Raoul. That is absolutely amazing to hear that. <laughs> so, hey, we hope we've inspired you today with some samba. So, we're going to play some more samba together. We're going to put it all together. So, we've got those three different parts the um, deutsch, tres, the samba, which is the pseudo part that Fred taught us. We've got the tambourine part, everybody, let's go to Rio. And we've also got the ganza, ganza shaker part. Whichever one of those three you did last time, can you pick a different one? Can you do a different rhythm this time, okay? And we're going to put it all together. We're going to see what it sounds like. Um, oh, I just need to um, just change one of the settings there. There we go. So are you ready? Have you got your instrument ready? Let's hear what this sounds like together. Here we go. Here we go. So let me just see if I can put this all together. Oh, I'll tell you what I was going to do. I was just going to turn this up. Right, here we go. Three, here we go. Everybody, let's go to Rio. 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 Push, twist, the sound button. 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 Ganza, 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 ganza. Push, twist, the sound button. Push, twist, the sound button. Everybody, let's go to Rio. 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 done everybody absolutely amazing hey you know we are going to be here um every day this week monday to friday we're going to be here at two o'clock we're going to build on what we learned today tomorrow we're going to learn some more samba we haven't learned the agogo -go part yet oh we need to learn that tomorrow and the bit that raul had and we need to learn some other things as well and there's the agogos okay the agogos have gone gone uh, we're going to learn those um which is going to be great we're going to learn some other things as well um now we are all here we're doing this for free you know obviously we're all isolated we're all self-employed and we know things are very tough um and tight for a lot of people but if you are able if you're in a position where you are able to um donate just to help us you know see this a, a little bit like sort of online busking i suppose in a way um in the description of this video you'll see we've got our paypal.me um address where you can donate so it's paypal.me forward slash inspireworks uk if you are able to donate we'd be very very grateful um but you um really don't have to it's very much voluntary um so we look forward to seeing you all tomorrow please spread the word this video will stay up there so if you want to have a little practice if you think oh i didn't quite get it right today you can keep watching it tomorrow so to make sure by the time we see you tomorrow it's really really good shall we finish with one final rumble together are you ready whatever instrument you've got let's do a rumble ready one two three go <laughs> Thank you ever so much, everybody. We look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Bye.